says with confidence and zeal. Hello. Welcome to another extraordinary night at the Velvet Note! <laughs> the Velvet Note is a place where you can see and hear world-class musicians in a setting that's as intimate and as comfortable as your living room. We give you a chance to get to know the music here, but also to get to know the musicians as well, and to hear both as they were meant to be heard. The Velvet Note is a listening room. We had our acoustics designed by a protege of the Hollywood director, George Lucas, under his guidance to be the highest quality, unenhanced sound available today. And we've been here just over nine years. We are so pleased to welcome the Bill Hart International Jazz Fusion Band. They have, they have fans. Thank you. Uh, Bill Hart is a Canadian born jazz fusion guitarist. He um, leads a band of extraordinary artists each of whom could lead their own show. And they hail from across the world. And uh, we love that about him. He mixes a little bit of rock, a little bit of blues, a little bit of funk, a little bit of jazz, with the rhythms and the culture that's influenced by his band members. So when you come to hear him, it's never quite the same show twice and you never know what great things can happen that have never happened before. So tonight, we're bringing him back to the stage. Now, if I were where you are, I'd have a reposado margarita in my hand. I'd be relaxed. I'd be ordering a Chesapeake Bay Jumbo Lump Crab Cake. <laughs> and groove into the sounds. But I will be in the kitchen <laughs> making your dinner. Don't let me be lonely tonight. <laughs> and put your hands together for the Bill Hard International Jazz Fusion Day.
everybody doing tonight? Great. Welcome to the Velvet Lounge. How many people have been here before? Good. How many people have not been here before? Hey! All right. How many people were thinking about being here and never seen no. I'm sorry. I'm Canadian and it just comes out. So. Um, well, we're glad you made it. And we're glad you came out to spend your Friday night with us here. And the biggest thing of all, we are so grateful that you guys have showed up to support live music. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Um, it's great to see it. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah we were playing for chairs for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> they started talking to us. That was the scary part. <laughs> Having conversations with the chairs, right? Yeah, that was yeah. That one chair that told you to give them all like that. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna introduce the band. You guys, you mind if I introduce the band real quick? Because these these guys, you know, they deserve an introduction. So. Um, also, have you met Young Pee Wee? <laughs> well, let me, let me start on my right. Fantastic, phenomenal, world-class piano keyboard player. Uh, she's, been, yes. she's now part of the band, and she is yes. just amazing. Born and raised in Japan, and her gig in Japan was backing playing with fusion players that would come over from America to play. Because <clears throat> the type of music we do is real, real big in Japan and Europe. And uh, she was the actual keyboard player. So put your hands together for... <laughs> Maduka. Okay, and the guy straight behind me. Uh, straight, come on. <laughs> this guy's amazing. He's a, uh, believe it or not, he is one of the, well, not one, he is the top recording bass player in Ethiopia. And it just so happens he's from Ethiopia. And a uh, great player, great friend. Uh, you know, this is not just a band that hangs out in the garage and we have to do a gig and we show up and do it. We, we live, eat, and breathe music, you know. Uh, if we didn't, we'd be playing Jimmy Buffett on the beach. You know? <laughs> um, <laughs> no offense, Jimmy. Asil <laughs> Wahib. And, uh, Special thanks to Andre Manga for uh, filling in for uh, Fasil. He just got back from Dubai. Uh, he was over there for about a month and a half. So uh, we're glad to see him back. He's like a brother to us. And, um, you know, we're, we're, this band is like a family. You know, uh, in the very back. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you know, if you know about like the hist not history, but kind of a fact about music, some of the greatest drummers in the, in the planet come from Ivory Coast, Africa, and this guy is from Ivory Coast, Africa. The hands together for Yaku Daniel Musa. together over the last 20 years and um, you know we've managed to stick together 
Uh, we're, we're together, not, not like together together, but <laughs> uh, we've been playing music for, for 20 years and it's just always a joy. Uh, you know, when you play with an outfit of people that are, are musicians that just love to play music, it's just such a great, great thing, you know. And uh, these guys are all, all about that. They, you know, uh, uh, just to let you know, this guy here, we had a gig and it really didn't pay much. And he was in New Jersey and his van broke down. And I told him, I said, man, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll, we'll make it. He actually found, he's got a way of doing that, a plane ticket. <laughs> Flew back to Atlanta, borrowed somebody's conkas and showed up on the gig. All right. And that's dedication. <laughs> your hands together for, oh, he's born in Japan. We haven't figured out where he's from yet. <laughs> we know that he's been through Ethiopia, Brazil, uh, Africa, Europe, Turkey, and uh, ended up here with this Canadian. That's pretty good. Asa Allah, I'm official. <laughs> So everything you're hearing tonight is original, except for the ones that aren't. <laughs> and we haven't played any of the ones that aren't. We, we do all original stuff. We, we've uh, been fortunate to put uh, together six CDs. We're working on our seventh CD. And everybody in the band has CDs out and are featured on all kinds of different uh, you know, CD records all over. Um, and actually, Maduka is going to be releasing uh, her single release party um, is it? What's the date again? November twelfth. All right. You know, so that's definitely. You know, so that's and uh, you know, it's, it's just great. And and like I said before, the the greatest thing is that you guys come out and support live music because music in general is really a, t a challenging life. You know. Um, to be a, a, a pure artist or musician that's dedicated to it. And, you know, we give up just about everything just to do our art. And um, because of the pandemic, as you know, a lot of businesses have closed, but the first business that usually gets hit is musicians because we survive on getting crowds together. <laughs> and that was kind of not happening in the last year and a half. Um, but uh, Tamara, the owner of the club, uh, was diehard musician supporting, meaning it wasn't just a, a money-making gig for her. It was something she, it was her passion. She wanted to keep it alive and did everything she could to do it. If she had to stay here and sleep at the place to keep the doors open. Uh, she is even the cook that, that's cooking your food. And, and for her, cooking food is like art to us. You know, she has that passion for it. She just loves and insists on doing it. Um, and she's certified. Is that right? Certified culinary degree <laughs> chef. Yeah, the, the real deal. There you go. There's my language. She's the real deal. Yeah. And, um, you know, through this last year and a half or so, as you know, there's a lot of places around the world that were great venues that are historical venues that a lot of people like Charlie Parker, Miles Davis, Sarah Vaughan, a lot of uh, great musicians over the years have played that ended up having to shut their doors due to the pandemic. You know, and it's a, a real sad thing, but uh, Tamara Fuller has managed to keep the place open with the help of uh, Andre who's serving you and, yeah. and uh, Willie the bartender. So put your hands together. For We're gonna play some more music for you. I promise I'm almost done talking. Oh, that's great. Oh, do you want this? I wanna put it down because you'll be on it all night. <laughs> I also wanna say that uh, for any of you that don't know, that's Bill Hart. Hey. Canadian.
Here he goes again. <laughs> Hello, mate. Well, this next song, I want to uh, introduce this song because it's a very special song. They're all very special, but this one is especially special. And today is especially, especially special. And I'll tell you why. Um, uh, this song is titled Sarah Song. And 23 years ago today, I had a child, a little girl named Sarah. Aww. And it's a birthday today. And the story with this song is uh, 23 years ago today, Sarah was born nine weeks early and weighed one pound. And she was a premature baby, and of course, they've come a long way in 20 years with um, med medical and things they do in that industry. Uh, but at that time, it was really, uh, for me, it was you know, a little bit stressful on what was going to happen, what the outcome was going to be. She stayed in the hospital for uh, nine weeks, and uh, after my gigs at night, uh, they would get over late, you know, 11 at night or whatever. And I would just go up to the hospital with my guitar and just sit there in the room and just kind of noodle while she was in their incubator and with all the wires attached to her. I couldn't pick her up or touch her because it, any kind of stimulation would, uh, you know, lose, lose weight. And I guess if you're only one pound, you only have ounces to lose. <laughs> so um, as I was in there, I, was, uh, I came up with this song. Uh, titled Sarah song that we're about to play, but uh, the amazing thing uh, about this story and this song is that it is her birthday today, and she's 23 years old, and um, she's just about to graduate college, and she just got a job at uh, Children's Medical in the NICU unit, working with premature babies. It's a, a very spiritual thing, if you will.
from my perky brunette demeanor. <laughs> I can't sleep because I've been having these visions. And my vision, most recently, is that something unexpectedly good is about to happen. So I'm just gonna sit here and wait till it does. <laughs> walking in Centennial Park one day, and I said to her, hey, you want to get married? <laughs> That's really how it went. And it, it wasn't the most romantic thing in the world, but over the years, you know, we've, we've had a couple daughters, and I realized um, she deserves a proposal better than that, right? Every woman deserves a proposal better than that. So I wanted to uh, propose to her the right way tonight. Oh you guys will oh. to yeah. um, I had to write it down so I didn't forget. <laughs> <laughs> a little over 15 years ago, you captured my heart by being exactly who you are. The sweetest, most compassionate, and sensitive person I have ever known. You have been my very best friend through the good and the bad and the really bad. 
You have been the reason that I smile on, on most days, and you have given me comfort beyond measure the many times I have cried. You have believed in me when nobody else would, and have shown me how to love with passion, purity, and unconditional acceptance. I honestly am not sure if a lifetime is long enough to return all that you have given to me. But I want nothing more than to spend the rest of my days by your side, to laugh with you, to cry with you, to believe in you and support you. If we're ever in poverty, I'll do whatever I can to make our love rich. And if we're blessed with wealth, never to let our love grow poor. We are better together than I could ever hope to be alone. So today, I give you all of my love and my trust. I know I've made lots of mistakes, but the one mistake I didn't make was marrying you. That being said, I'd love to do the best thing I've done in my life all over again. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations, you too. <laughs> Congratulations. Happy birthday, sir. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, she's amazing. Um, th this, this is a coincidence. But, uh, the next song we're going to play is one of our originals called What Are You Doing? <laughs>
Would that be a, a song I wrote last week before you guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
sisters, my dad's still up there, my aunts and uncles, all my family's up there, and, and yeah, I do go back and visit. I, I usually go in the summertime and stay both days. <laughs> Where about? Uh, Ontario. Ah. I was born and raised in Niagara Falls, lived in Toronto, moved to Halifax, uh, lived, lived all over Canada. It's just, lo just looks like one big white blanket, doesn't matter really where you go. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, as a boy growing up, we would get together at, you know, about eight or nine years old, and we'd all pitch in our money, and, you know, the first place we'd stop at is a liquor store and buy a couple of cases of Labatt's Blue or you know, Molson Canadian, you know, and then uh, whatever money we had left, we would pitch in and, and rent the rink, and any time we got enough money to rent the ice rink, everybody would call everybody and say, hey, we got ice time, and in Canada, everybody has hockey sticks and skates. I mean, that's just kind of a must, you know. It's like uh, Texas, you have steers and oh, never mind. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, that's all right. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna fit, oh, one more thing. I've got CDs for you guys. Okay, I'm not selling them, but I would like to give each and every one of you one of our live CDs and one of our studio version CDs of what we have done tonight, you know, the music that we've had. Um, if you don't have a CD player, share it with somebody. We're not selling them. We're taking donations, nothing less than a $100 bill. Um, <laughs> but really, I would be honored to have you guys take some of the CDs and, you know, as a token to remember this night. That's it, the sound got frozen up there. <laughs> I just wanted to. Yeah. 
Hard International Jazz Fusion Band live at the Velvet Next. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We loved having you, and we'd love to have you again. You can find all of our upcoming shows at TheVelvetNote.com including tomorrow night and the next night, four of the most uh, just unbelievable straight-ahead jazz cats in the world. Curtis Lundy on bass, Grammy-winning drummer Terry on Gully, Louis Haribo on piano, and the great Warren Wolf on vibraphones. Those vibraphones have just arrived, so if you're looking to go to the restroom, <laughs> leap, leap frog over them. <laughs> now we have so many great shows coming up. We have a tribute to Aretha Franklin on um, the 14th of uh, uh, August. We have our annual Labor Day Earth, Wind, and Fire shows. Three nights, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's coming right up. Right. Time is flying, isn't it? Yes. This is not just a job, it's what we love to do. We love bringing you closer to artists who inspire you, closer to each other, and closer to the song that's in your heart. Come back and see us again soon. Thank you. Thank you.